up everybody broadway cj here and today i'm going to review all the new game modes and gameplay in ea sports' newest hockey title nhl 17. to review by diving right into the gameplay so if you came for the game mode review hold on everybody it's coming now in years past i wouldn't have believed this game was possible the new animations to the skaters including their cuts and their jukes it really is a big time improvement and i definitely enjoy it no longer can you just circle around in the corner hoping to succeed. No, now you're going to need to apply actual hockey sense and IQ to succeed in this game. Now, if you're just starting out with the game or don't have the best hockey IQ, what you see on the screen all over the ice is something that's going to help you succeed, and that's the on-ice trainer. The on-ice trainer will map out your passes, show you your shot lanes, where's the best place to shoot on the goalie. It's really something for you beginners of the game that will help you succeed in this game. I definitely approve of the skating, and I definitely approve of all the improvements made so far in NHL 17 when it comes to skater gameplay. I think you're going to enjoy it, because I definitely enjoy it. Talked a little about the skating, let's talk about the goaltending. Yes, last year EA Sports really made a good effort to improve goaltending. They added a bunch of new animations, really shaped the feel, but this year they took it a step further. In the offseason, EA Sports brought in goalies across the NHL, and now there are 41 different and unique goaltending styles for you to choose from. Just gave up one right there. But now, when you play EA SHL, you can choose any one of these 41 styles, and each one of the styles have a different stance, where you hold the post, you name it. They really did a great job with revamping the goaltending system, and I, for one, am very happy with it. Now on to my review of the game modes, let's start with the newest and most anticipated game mode into NHL 17 being Draft Champion. Draft Champions for me is a huge home run. They really made it easier to say, hey, your ultimate team, you don't spend as much money as other players. Well, you know what? This is a game mode where we're going to give you a chance to use these great players to try them out. Look at this, Pavel Burry, Mike Madonna, Zach Parise, Mike Bossy, Joe Thornton, Patrick Marlowe. All these great names that I'm getting to try out here. Brent Burns. It's endless. The results can go on and on. They give you the opportunity to choose your theme, to really customize your team. And in the end, all you're doing is earning rewards for Ultimate Team to help you get these players faster. It's fun. You can do it as many times as you want. There's no entry fee. You don't have to pay to play. EA Sports really hit home with Draft Champions. They really did a great job in my opinion. Onto Ultimate Team now, you really also have to be happy about all the changes made for Ultimate Team. Yes, they're minor additions, but these minor additions really make it easier for you as a Hockey Ultimate Team owner to shape your team, get a better unit out there on the ice, and of course win. Draft Champions gives you the ability to earn badges to get good players. The Synergy, in my opinion, is probably the best thing they added in this game. Hopefully, I say that now, but... Eventually, I'm going to see players with five defenders going against me, and that's going to be very awkward. But they really gave you the chance to customize it. Do what you want out there. Make the team you want. And sets, of course, make it easier for you to do that because these sets give you the opportunity to make coins to get the players you want. Got all those useless arenas that you would usually sell for 100 coins or just quick sell? Now you can put 10 of them together and get a quick sell item to get coins. Ultimate Team, vastly improved. You're going to enjoy it. Trust me on that. And hey, if you play Ultimate Team enough, you're going to be able to get these heroes. Some of these 94 overall players are very easy to achieve. You can definitely get them. And I'm telling you right now, as a New York Rangers fan, I can't wait to get Adam Graves for myself. Next, we're going to talk about Franchise Mode and all the improvements EA Sports put into their most played offline game mode. Now, years past in Franchise Mode, there wasn't much you can do. Not a lot of customization, it, it really wasn't that fun. This year in Franchise Mode, EA Sports has added a plethora of customization options to make Franchise Mode more fun for you, the player. Now, every team is different. Every team has a different budget, every team has a different owner, personality, and of course, a different arena. Now, all the facilities are gonna start out very low, but you can either improve them by spending your budget that you'll get throughout the year, 
or by relocating your team, which is a brand new feature. Your owner this year will have a desire to relocate or lack of desire to relocate. You can always turn on the accept relocation option to make sure he always says yes to relocate the first time no matter what. But this year in franchise mode, you have so much more customization options and it's really enjoyable to play. I never play offline gaming, but if I ever had to, I would try franchise mode. I'd try to make a franchise, fantasy draft, and relocate the team to try and get a new fan base and really do something fun and unique. So I give EA a lot of credit and I really do like franchise mode. Final new addition to NHL 17 is another offline game mode, the World Cup of Hockey. Now the World Cup of Hockey makes its real life return for the first time in 12 years. And for those of you who don't know, it's an eight team tournament for teams across the world to try to claim hockey supremacy. I played it a little. This is a great game mode that you can play locally with some friends, kill some time, or really have a good time with. You can choose whichever team you want, Canada, Czech Republic, Team Europe, USA, Team North America, Sweden, Russia, or Finland. I'll choose Team USA because I'm a big Stars and Stripes guy. So there you go. You start your tournament, and then you're going to be brought to the tournament hub, where you'll be able to see the standings for your group, what matches you're going to have to play, your next one in particular. You'll be able to set your lines, see your injuries, do your strategies, everything that you'd want to do. Another good offline game mode, another good addition by EA Sports. So in review, I do feel NHL 17 is an upgrade from NHL 16. And if you enjoyed the game from last year, I think you'll enjoy this game even more. There are some negatives I'd like to share with you though, and if you're not a hardcore player like myself, maybe it doesn't even matter to you, but I have to share it nonetheless. Number one. I feel like the defensive awareness for the AI is still too low in online gameplay. I feel like you can just pass the puck through the middle, get it through most of the time when you have no business getting it through and getting away with it and scoring goals because of it. I don't like that, I don't think it should be like that. It's not like that in real life and I'm going to knock EA for that all day. The other thing is collision detection. Now I know today the players can't have 100% collision detection or it'll look like players are just breaking their arms and not being able to do realistic animations at all. But the puck should have 100% collision detection and there's no excuse for that. So because of that, I'm going to give EA Sports NHL 17 a 7 out of 10. Now can it be improved with future tuners? Absolutely. If those two negatives I named are improved on, it can easily shoot up to a 9. So if you're looking for the hockey game to play this year, give NHL 17 a chance. It's vastly improved from a year ago, and I think you'll enjoy it.